Tulsa mom is fighting for her son's life. She says that she's done all she can, and now she has to take drastic measures. Two News investigator Marla Carter joins me now with her battle. Marla? That's right, Karen. Seizures can be deadly, and now Robert Ricketts' mother is trying to ensure he has every advantage to make sure he lives a long and healthy life. Robert Ricketts' mom says he was a lively boy, always playing. But one day, something happened that changed everything. And about five years old, he started having seizures. Doctors diagnosed him with a rare neurological disorder. Treatment included brain surgery, invasive medical procedures, and a slew of medicines. 17 years later, seizures still threaten his life. One way to prevent them, morphine, considered a controlled substance. It's been really hard to get the medicine. Robert's mother, Patricia, tells Two News she's having difficulty getting the prescription filled. Tired of fighting. They're now moving to Colorado, where they can get a cannabis-infused oil. It helps with seizure prevention. Last year, we introduced you to a mom in a similar situation, Brittany Hardy. Her two-year-old, Jackie, had seizures. The family moved to Colorado to access the cannabis oil. In the state of Oklahoma, you should have options for your children. Now lawmakers are working to help people like Robert and Jackie. This session, Oklahoma City State Representative John Eccles wrote a bill that would allow certain patients to receive the oil in our state. It's called Katie's Law, named after a little girl who has epilepsy. The only thing that kills this bill is people not willing to look at what it really is. And it's just not fair to people like my son that needs help and he could have a normal life. Katie's law passed the House 99 to 2. Now it's in the Senate. We'll be sure to follow the progress of this legislation. Marla Carter, 2 News works for you.